Hello, dear friends. This is Dr. Mahmoud Aminul Islam. Welcome to Aminul Camp Innovation. In this video, I would like to show you how to apply for MS or PhD scholarship step by step. This video is very important, so please do not skip. As I am as I have completed my PhD from Lactrop University, Melbourne, Australia. So I will show you from the practical point of view. So here is the website, Latrop University, and how to apply for Doctor of Philosophy or Masters by Research or Masters. So see, here are four steps. Number one is check your eligibility. Step two, find your supervisor. Step three, gather your documents. Step four, submit your application. So let us uh, see step one. To apply for a PhD candidate, sir, you will need one of the following. These are the requirements for a PhD. And uh, these are the requirements, and these are the discipline specific application requirements. Here is the international applicants. As an international applicant, you will also need to provide evidence that you meet the minimum English uh, language requirements set for your course usually IELTS score or, or PT score is accepted. IELTS score is 6.5 with each band at least 6. So this is the first step to meet the eligibility criteria. Second step is very important. This is uh, find your supervisor. Everywhere in Australia, before you apply for graduate research candidate, sir, you must identify a potential supervisor and receive approval for your research project. You will need to include You will need to include your potential supervisor's detail on your application form. That means you must search your potential supervisor to apply for MS or PhD in any university in Australia. Without supervisor, you cannot apply for any scholarship. So that means you have to find out supervisor first. Now, there are three ways to identify a potential supervisor. For example, number one, check our available scholarship for project that fits your interest and qualifications. Is project list contact person for more information and to obtain a principal approval to apply. Here are several applications and there are also principal uh, supervisor. You can collect supervisor from here. Second, search your database of Latrop scholars using keywords related to your intent research project. Filter search results based on those available for master's research or PhD supervision. You can also get a potential supervisor list here. And after getting this list, you can send them email. You can also search to the school website, university website in your area of interest and use the resources list in the department or research pages to identify a super, suitable supervisor or research group. Once you have identified a potential supervisor or supervisors, you will need to get in touch with them to see if 
they are available and if they would be a good fit to your research project. When you email a potential supervisor, make sure to include the following information. Your most recent academic qualification and your grades or results, your research background, any previous publication, a brief description of your intended research project or advertised project you are interested in applying for. You can also see a email template. If you do not hear back in a week or so, you can send a brief polite follow-up email. Your application cannot be processed until supervision is confirmed. That means without supervisor, you can do nothing. In my case, I managed supervisor uh, from more than 15 universities and uh, I got admission of 10 universities. Out of 10, I got a scholarship from Latrop University uh, for the uh, at first, and I joined there. After uh, managing supervisor, you can consult with him for further step. That means he will be your guardian at that university. Step three is gather your documents. Then you need to gather your documents, prepare your documents uh, uh, described here. For example, your university academic transcript, compilation certificate, your personal CV, details of publication, a copy of your master's thesis. And for international uh, applicants, uh, these are the requirements for uh, international applicants. And finally, uh, submit your application for domestic this for international here lodge your application via international online application system and then if you are a newly registering applicant please ensure you select yes against are you applying for a research program for example phd or masters by research or excellence program and uh, it is mentionable that you should try with your personal email, for example, Gmail, to uh, open an account for lodging application. And if you have any questions, uh, you can also send emails to this. So this is the uh, process how you can easily uh, manage supervisor and prepare documents and uh, submit your application. After submit your application, the committee will uh, do a meeting for admission. If you are selected for admission, then your application will be automatically uh, sent for a scholarship office for consideration of a scholarship. Then if you uh, become uh, selected, then they will send uh, all documents regarding your admission as well as scholarship information. That's for today. If you have any query, please feel free to leave your comments. Thanks for watching. Please do visit Aminol Camp Innovation, like, comment, share for new videos.